children you must be getting fascinated on seeing the modern skyscrapers or modern machines but nothing is as marvelous as a human body the most wonderful machine in the world like a machine is made up of bars nuts and bolts a human body is made up of flesh and bones it can perform functions like a machine and also see hear smell talk or walk isn't it amazing a human body has the skeleton made up of bones bones are covered with muscles muscles are connected to bones through fibers called tendons then it is covered with skin and our body is complete there are internal organs present which perform the vital functions now let us understand the bones children we can feel the hard structures under our skin these are bones the bones perform the following functions in our body first it forms the framework that gives shape and strength to our body second it protects the vital and delicate internal organs third it helps us in movement now children do you know 14% of our body's total weight is because of the bones bones are made up of calcium and phosphate they are also supplied with blood and nerves and they also grow as we grow now if we take a section of the bone that is if we slice a bone we will see that it has a hard outer covering or the com- compact bone outside inside which is a spongy inner layer in case of long bones of arms and legs a jelly like material called the bone marrow is present you know bone marrow is the body's factory to produce new blood cells apart from this it also stores fat our different body parts have different number and size of bones now let us study the human skeleton it is made up of bones cartilage joints and ligaments human skeleton is a frame made up of bones which gives our body its shape and support it protects delicate organs like heart lungs and kidneys human skeleton is not hard and rigid because the joints allow movement to the body a human skeleton is made up of 206 bones it consists of the following parts first the skull skull is a hard covering that protects our brain and covers our face skull is made up of 22 bones eight of which are flat bones they are joined together which cover our brain and gives shape to our head the other 14 bones form the shape of our face in the skull all the joints are fixed even upper jaw is fixed only the lower jaw is movable this helps us to chew our food and speak bones of face have holes through which nerves of sense organs pass through the front portion of our nose is made up of a softer material called cartilage that is why we can bend our nose it is not hard and rigid second part of our skeleton is the backbone or spine the skull is connected to our backbone spine is a long column of hollow bones called vertebrae it is made up of 33 vertebras 
they are put one above the other forming a column and they have a hole through which the spinal cord passes the spine protects the spinal cord and helps us to bend forward backward or even sideways this is because our spine is not made up of one long rigid bone but a number of small bones kept one above the other <clears throat> children next comes our rib cage ribs are delicate bones which curve around from back towards the front there are 12 pairs of ribs in our body they are joined to the spine on the back side and to the breast bone in the front side these ribs form a cage like structure so it is called a rib cage the last two pairs of ribs are incomplete from back they are attached to the spine but they do not join the breast bone in front so they are called floating ribs the rib cage protects the heart lungs and other delicate organs inside The next part of the skeleton is the limbs. There are two pairs of limbs in our body. A pair of four limbs which are attached to the spine through shoulder girdle or shoulder bones. Shoulder girdle consists of shoulder blade and collar bone. Then we have a pair of hind limbs which are attached to the spine through the pelvic girdle or hip bone this is made up of flat bones so children these are the parts which make our skeleton or our skeletal system i'm sure you must have enjoyed learning about the skeletal system and bones in the human body thank you for watching